one of the main things I'd say that was good about working for the NHS was the amount of experience you get. Um, the breadth of things that I got from my portfolio was really good. I did uh, media relations work, both proactive and reactive statements. Um, I did a lot of internal communications work, um, starting off editing the newsletter um, and then sort of taking more of a, a role in that. Um, I did a lot of articles for uh, annual report and health matters. Uh, publications like that. You know, when you start any new job it's quite challenging, um, it's a new role and you're not always sure you know, what you need to be doing um, but everyone's really really supportive and um, you've always got someone to ask you know, when you're struggling a little bit with something. Um, one of the particular highlights for me of um, this role was the amount of media relations work you do. Um, you know, with it being the NHS and it's health related so many people are interested in it, it affects everyone. Um, so you've always, you know, got lots of uh, press releases, media statements getting uh, published, which is really, really good for your portfolio. Um, I think one of the other good things about working for the NHS is that it's such a big organisation. I mean, it's like one of the third largest employers in the world, and the NHS brand is one of the most recognised in the country. Um, so even if you're not necessarily wanting to go into, you know, public sector or the NHS, uh, this job will, say, you know, sort of stand you in really good stead to go on and do other work. Um, I'm working for a music production company now, but one of the things they said to me in the interview was the amount of work that I'd covered um, in my placement year and my, the quality of my portfolio that I took in um, was the thing that sort of put me ahead of other people. Um, you know, a lot of people when they're coming out of university haven't got the same amount of experience that you're going to get, and I think the role here is a really important part of that. I started working for NHS Bradford and Airedale in August 2008 and I worked all the way through to set the following September and I now do one day a week around university. Um, I think that there's a perception with public sectors to be quite boring as opposed to agencies and other in-house opportunities but I would definitely say that isn't the case. I've had a lot of good experiences and it's definitely not just been a, a boring desk job. You do get to you know go out on the job and do different things, meet different people, and you definitely don't have to be some sort of health expert to want to do the job. The skill is the PR input, not the health knowledge. Um, but I've just really enjoyed it and met lovely people. Um, you know, it's a great team, and that's definitely been one of the big pluses for me because I've made some really good relationships with people. And it's it's just you get. You learn good skills for the rest of your life, just general skills like, oh, you know, oh, organisation and like I said working in a team but also it just gives you a taste of what to expect when you finish uni and it definitely hasn't scared me it's um, you know when I come in now on a Friday it's a nice break really from uni especially in my final year I'm a bit busy with work. I started working for NHS Bradford and Airedale in early September I guess like many people, I was under the impression that it would be boring and underpaid. This couldn't be any further from the truth. Since I started, I have been accepted by a lovely, warm group of people who are happy to help you, no matter what it is you need help with. They don't make you feel stupid for asking for help for the simplest tasks. In the five months that I've been here, I have received so many tasks that have been interesting, I have so many pieces of portfolio work that are far different from what you ever imagined you'd get from a PR placement. Obviously, you have your standard daily routine, such as press releases and press cuttings, but then you have exciting things like webcasts. For instance, I'm in the middle of recording a sexual health drama, something that's been a project of mine from the beginning. I've helped write the script, we've held auditions, and now we're just about to start filming. Obviously, the swine flu crisis has played a major part in my five months here. I've been lucky enough to be involved in many projects that have revolved around it, particularly a webcast that we did for those people who were hard of hearing and were unable to get the information they needed. We invited a BSL sign languager down to interpret information to put in a webcast that meant those who couldn't hear could still understand. If you're interested in taking a position within NHS Bradford and Airedale, please pop into the placements office for further information.